All right, so this is a bit of an experiment. I've been playing with this lap renderer tool and uh, that I built, and I finally got two laps side by side, one on top of the other. Uh, this is sort of an experiment to see, can we get value, can I get value out of looking at these laps side by side? So I haven't really gone through this laps in too much detail, so we'll sort of be experimenting with this together. This is also my first time doing anything like with this webcam and got my little snowball microphone thing. So we'll see how this goes. So again, lap on top is actually a personal record, Streets of Willow clockwise in a Miata. The bottom is a couple laps earlier, uh, about a second slower. Um, so here we go. So as you can see, start finish already the, the faster lap uh, is two miles an hour faster as we cross the start finish straight for the timing. And uh, here we go. So I'll lower the volume a bit. So hopefully you can hear the car a little bit, but mostly you can hear my voice. And again, this is just an experiment for you. So. As we enter turn one, you can see, if you look, I don't know if the mouse is visible or not, but you can see there's the apex, quote unquote, of turn one is pretty darn close in both laps. So even though there's that speed differential, that could just be the, the GPS, is, the, the synchronization, the video is off by a frame or two, whatever. Um, although no, like max speed's very much different. Anyway, so we enter the braking zone, turn two, and we hit the apex, you see the cone right there in the bottom, just over the windshield. Again, pretty close, not much in it here. Uh, so we see, again, I'm basically just pointing out visual markers as I see them so you can pair. So three cones in a row is, again, pretty much nothing in it through turn two. Pretty identical so far. You can also see on the map the blue dots are pretty close. So let's see how we do in turn three. Any major differences? Both are fairly clean and tidy. And again, the three cones on the uh, outside of the corner, basically identical through these two laps. Um, and you can even see that there, my face is blocking some of it, but the tip of that third cone, tip of the third cone, same place. So here we go. So this corner, I think, is where we start to see a little bit of difference. I've tried to go flat through this whole section in the top lap. You'll even see I get some oversteer on the way out here. I have to correct a bit. And now you'll see this cone up here is a little bit closer than it is down here. So we made up a little bit of ground there. Let's see how that, uh, whether that carries through towards the bowl. You also notice, again, the speed differential on the top, probably, again, due to being a little more aggressive with the throttle there. It's not much, though. It's just a couple miles an hour here or there, but that's what it's like with Miatas. So we break into the bowl. Again, you can see here now we're getting the dark patch on the short side there. Again, I can't tell if you see my mouse. We're now clearly a few feet ahead on the top over the bottom. We get towards that apex cone just past on the right, but we're still 10 feet from it on the bottom. So we've made up a whole bunch of ground at this point. So that's probably a tenth or two at least, maybe more. Uh, and you see a pretty big speed, speed differential uh, here. So we exit the bowl significantly better uh, and the faster lap. Though also I went, should have gone significantly quicker up and through this chicane, whatever you want to call this. A uh, little bit of a brake tap on the bottom left to settle the car. You see here, speeds are the same. Um, let's actually rewind a little bit. So, on the bottom lap, I tap the brakes before going left, whereas the top lap, it's just a little bit of a coast. I just lift off the, breathe off the gas. I can't go, I didn't have the balls to go flat all the way through it. So let's see if that reflects in the speedo. Again, it's a one hertz speedometer based on GPS, so it's frame by frame accuracy I don't quite trust. So as we turn left here, we're going over 90, whereas in the bottom, we never really got over 87. So yeah, there's a bit of a difference there. And you see we hit the brake uh, by the returning in on the top, but uh, not even close to the, the apex in the bottom frame. So we've made a ton of ground through the back straight and through that chicane. That's probably where most of the lap time is. Uh, let's see, how do we compare here? Nothing really that I notice, other than we're way behind on the bottom lap now. Um, somebody else pointed out to me that they felt that the bottom lap is actually faster through the skid pad. So if we look, the maximum cornering G's for the top lap is somewhere around 1.2, whereas in the bottom we get close to 1.4. So probably actually caught up some ground through the skid pad. So there's more time to be had for sure in the faster lap here. And as we come across the line, you see the top one is just about at that little pile of sandbags there, whereas the bottom one is way away. So that's how one second happens on a lap. All right.